I first heard about SEER uh, when I wanted to join the Air Force and I was going to commission. I didn't really like the jobs that were offered to me, so I went to an enlisted uh, recruiter and told him that I wanted to do something outdoors and he listed SEER to me and I said that's what I was going to do. Training definitely surprised me. It wasn't what I expected. Uh, it was physically demanding. Uh, I thought it was going to be more physical than mental, but it turned out to be more mental than physical uh, overall. Uh, you have to have a certain level of grit and a certain level of uh, stubbornness and a little bit of crazy uh, to go through what we went through. So absolutely, uh, mental fortitude was what was needed to go through training. And I had people on my team, it was just as difficult for them as it was for me. Uh, I don't set myself aside by no means. Uh, I don't think that it was harder or easier it was, it was the same for all of us and they made sure of that. They made sure that we had the same amount of difficulty for all of us and um, I really appreciated that. I really appreciated the respect um, and I appreciated that I wasn't, I wasn't treated differently in that aspect of training. Uh, our navigational phase, we got to that, it was cold. Uh, it was cold for me. It was very cold. I had a hard time uh, staying warm and I ended up getting frostbite and wasn't able to take care of myself and I wanted to quit until I looked at the guys to my left and right and I was like, well, they're not quitting, so I'm not going to quit. I had a vision of when I first came in that this is what I wanted to do and having that vision in my head of, of seeing who I was going to be and who I was going to become as a person that helped me persevere through training and also, like I said earlier, just being stubborn and having that grit um, just to push through. Uh, but also that team dynamic helped me persevere. I could not have done what I did or I wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for my teammates that I went through with. Overall, I think the importance of being a SEER specialist is to be the best advocate you can be for an isolated person. Uh, that's the main goal, is to make sure that they are able to come home and return with honor.